Well, I wanted to thank everybody. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out today uh, for this for this great occasion uh, as we are joined with our friends from Zambia. And uh, let me let me talk a little bit about this relationship first, and then we'll tell you why we're here today. One of the goals that I had as a mayor. Well, let me start. Let me start even back from that. So. Uh, if you're not familiar, we have sister city relationships with cities all over the world. And these relationships are incredibly important to us culturally. But they're also important, I think, from a business standpoint to, to connect entrepreneurs, both from these other cities and other countries, uh, to entrepreneurs and businesses in America. But they're also good from a goodwill standpoint. Uh, these gentlemen that are here with us today from Lusaka, which is our sister city uh, in Zambia, are ambassadors for their place. Uh, our sister cities leaders here are ambassadors from our place. And we live in a world where we need to build bridges. And, uh, and I'm just glad that we have the sister city relationships to do that. So one of the goals that I had as a mayor uh, was to have the first sister city in Africa. And it took us several years, uh, but thanks to the leadership of Dr. Harold Bailey, uh, I don't think Harold's with us today. Um, uh, Madam Secretary Yvette Kaufman Bell is here. Uh, from the uh, Office of African American Affairs from the state of New Mexico, from our sister city group, Ogle John is here with us today, Gary Opadal and others, we were able to establish our first sister city relationship in Africa. So the city of Albuquerque uh, took a trip. Uh, I was unfortunately unable to go as the mayor uh, last year, but we did have a city delegation go with sister cities, and we were started to build relationships there. One of the things that we talked about early on in this relationship was the fact that uh, because of regulations and because of other requirements that we have, uh, occasionally the city of Albuquerque ends up with, uh, I would call it, um, uh, firefighting equipment, ambulances, and other, uh, sometimes it's dump trucks uh, that are basically have reached their useful life for us or that regulations don't allow us to use uh, within our departments anymore or we have replacements for. So we have actually been able to donate some of our equipment to smaller towns in New Mexico. Uh, we were able to donate uh, some of our equipment to a small town in Louisiana. Uh, we have sent some of our, uh, 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 I'm missing the word, but our, our uh, uh, surplus equipment to Mexico. And today we are going to uh, send some of our surplus uh, equipment to the city of Lusaka in Zambia, Africa. And I am so pleased to have with us uh, the mayor of Lusaka. Uh, his worship is the terminology that's used uh, in, also in Canada and other places. Uh, okay. nobody's, nobody's calling me that here. Yeah. Uh, but his, his, his worship, uh, Wilson uh, Kalumba, is here and he is the mayor of our sister city, Lusaka. So we are greatly honored to have the mayor with us and his entire delegation. We met yesterday. Uh, they've been in Albuquerque for several days. They're seeing our city. Our sister city group has taken them around, showed them all over uh, our great place. We're going to have dinner tonight, and we're just going to continue building this great relationship. Uh, we also have a number of folks. I'll let the mayor introduce his delegation uh, in just a little bit. So what we are doing here is we are, I've got the list in front of me, we are donating uh, a pumper truck, an ambulance, some retired firefighting equipment and some vehicle operator training and guidelines on how to use this equipment. Uh, the mayor and his team are paying for their travel, they're paying for their training, and they're also paying uh, to ship the equipment back to Lusaka. So they're doing their part, we're doing our part, and uh, we're just really thrilled, not just to have the sister city relationship, uh, but to be uh, blessed to be in a position to help our friends uh, both around New Mexico, around the country, uh, and around the world. So I'm gonna have Chief Downey explain to you a little bit about some of this equipment, and then we are going to have um, the mayor uh, come up and tell you about his delegation and what they plan to do with this equipment. So, Chief Downey. Um, th thank you, Mayor. As the mayor mentioned, we're um, lucky enough in Albuquerque to have a frequent apparatus replacement cycle. And this truck is a 1997 Pierce engine that we've had since 97 and it's just time for us to surplus it. And as the mayor said, we donate as much of our apparatus as we can, both through New Mexico and internationally. This will actually be the, the third country that we've donated an apparatus to. And the equipment, as, as the mayor said, for our, our PPE can only be used for 10 years. And once it's after 10 years, it can no longer be used in America. So we, we again, donate as much of our 
equipment as we can, and we're happy to. Uh, the, the ambulance behind us is actually from the Clovis Fire Department, and it's 2012. So we're just happy to be a part and a partner in the sister city relationship. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Chief. I didn't realize I was from Clovis, so I'll call the mayor of Clovis and thank them as well. So now for the uh, for the for the big star of the day, the mayor, uh, Mayor Columba. Uh, once again, welcome. And uh, would you share some words with us? And please introduce your delegation as well. And we've got folks from their their uh, police services here. We've got Inspector General here. We've got some folks from their marketing branch. Uh, so, Mayor, I'll turn the microphone over to you. And Thank welcome you. to Albuquerque again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor. And uh, thank you very much to everyone here. I think we stand here very happy and proud people to receive the equipment that has been donated to us. Um, on um, my right hand side here is uh, Mr. Patrick Mapalo, who is the uh, Zambia chair for the sister city. From Albuquerque? Yeah, from, from Albuquerque. Albuquerque yes, thank you. We have the inspector general of police, uh, Mr. Kanganja, and um, next to him is Mr. Alenzo Malunda, who is the PR person at Rusaka City Council. Mr. Chilekwadea is the aide to the Inspector General of Police, and uh, Mr. Mbitaye um, is the Director of Training at the Zambia Police. On the far end there is uh, my colleague Patrick Monsa, who is the <coughs> councillor at Rusaka City Council. Mayor, let me once again say thank you very much. You know, in our um, places, we are challenged with financial resources, and equipment like this is very expensive. Uh, I've checked around the prices and some recent purchases made by government. Yeah? It's quite expensive equipment. So for us to receive this as a donation, um, and thanks very much to the policies here that after 10 years, you don't need it, but we still need it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it goes a long way to beef up our fleet, uh, which I'll tell you is not a big one. I think we have um, maybe, we need fire engines in over 100 places. And I think what we have, we have fire engines in about, uh, I think less than 50 places in Zambia as a country. So we are looking for more. And uh, for me, today is an important day. Because we have equipment that has been given to us by the city of Abaki. And uh, it will go a long way in elevating the, 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 the shortage of this equipment uh, around Zambia. From Lusaka, we are able to service other districts when it comes to fire, because they don't have fire engines. I think we can go as much as 150 kilometers trying to help put up fire in those places. Uh, in the miles, I don't know, maybe over, uh, what's 150 kilometers? 75 miles. Something like that. Yeah. Because those places, they don't have fire engines. So I think uh, a donation like this uh, goes <coughs> to help us uh, achieve our work. We're still far from getting the number of equipment that we need, but uh, it's going to help. Let me uh, give the floor to my colleague, Inspector General of Police, because well, this is going directly to his ministry to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> the Worship, uh, the Mayor, Mayor Berry, Chief, <laughs> yeah. Chief Downey, Chief Eden, Albuquerque Sisters uh, Foundation members, the people of <coughs> Albuquerque, the Zambian delegation, which is led by His Worship the Mayor, Mayor Kalumba. Let me first and foremost begin by thanking the Albuquerque Lusaka Committee for the initiative taken to <coughs> extend the invitation to us to be among you today. I and my delegation feel very honored to be here. The welcome and indeed the hospitality accorded to us is overwhelming. We feel at home. As Zambia Police Service, this visit is extremely important in that we'll be able to share and learn from experiences from here. We are here to learn on a number of issues, for example, training programs being conducted 
at the institutions here, policing strategies, equipment in use, skills and techniques in use, challenges encountered in the execution of duty and many others. I'm aware that the police service here is differently structured as compared to ours back home where there is just one police service where I'm the Inspector General of Police. Nonetheless, policing is the same world over based on the maintenance of law, protection of life and, pro and property. Although we have previously undertaken a number of studies to gauge different aspects of policing in the country, this particular visit marks a milestone as it is expected that a lot will be learned. As Zambia Police Service, as we evolve into the 21st century, we are trying all our best to modernize and move with time. We are currently in the process of establishing an air wing. This project will require fire tenders and ambulances for rapid response for emergencies. Therefore, your worship, the mayor, Richard Berry, <laughs> and the chief fire officer, David Downey, your donation today has indeed come at the right time. We indeed are very grateful as Zambia Police Service. We look forward to shipping them to Zambia within the shortest possible time. In conclusion, as Inspector General of Police, I look forward to collaborating with the Albuquerque Police Department. And once more, let me take this opportunity to thank you so much for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to us since our arrival in this beautiful city. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so I think this is uh, what, what have we got here? This is uh, oh, this is the this is the dollars that the Zambia Ministry of Home Affairs will issue for the cost of shipping this back to their country. Um, we appreciate the partnership, and I think just to to wrap up, I'll just say this: you know, the the taxpayers of our city purchase these. And we use these on their behalf in our city for many, many years. We saved lives here with this equipment. We saved property. We kept people safe with the brave men and women in our front first responders and our firefighters. And now to know that this investment can save lives in your city and your country um, makes us all feel good. And it's, a, it's what partnership and, uh, uh, is all about. And it's what being good neighbors is all about. And we just appreciate uh, the opportunity to do this. And I want to thank again all of the Sister City uh, group here. Uncle John, come on up here. This is, this is our head of our Albuquerque Sister Cities um, right here. I want to thank everybody that has gone out of their way in Albuquerque to make these gentlemen feel at home. Uh, when, when these folks travel, when we travel to other countries, they do the same for us. So it's reciprocal and uh, look forward to dinner this evening and uh, let's get out of the cold. What do you say? <laughs>